That's good. So, hey, whatever. Oh, anyway. anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, so, hey. Well, stick another nail hi, in me. Everybody, we are Hailstorm, and uh, we are in the, what is it, the fifth day of us being We are in the studio? throes yes. uh, <laughs> of making a record. Yes. First week in the studio. In the bag. It's been amazing. It's I think done. I think we did five songs, five songs. Five songs <laughs> in five days. I mean, at least the 90% of them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Which it, is awesome. It's such a great experience. Uh, such a cool vibe here. Um, everyone's really comfortable. And uh, Jay is amazing. Good energy. Everybody here is just absolutely just involved. Everybody's involved in every song. It's so different than how we've done the past two records. The approach to this new record is very different than our past two records. It's um, it's very performance based. It's very much based on whether or not we can all hit it at the same time, or whether or not, you know, I can hit a note without having it, you know, having to be auto-tuned or something like that. It's, it's, um, it's definitely a challenge. I've been collecting, spent the last few years just collecting gear and guitars and amplifiers and pedals and all the fun things that you can do and make sounds with related to guitar. And for the first time, I've got all my gear with me. You know, we made the last two records in LA and. Uh, you know, I brought a guitar or two out with me, and that's that's about all. So, so much fun to finally be able to use, you know, my analog outfitters or my Marshall or my Fender or my EVH or you know whatever. And I brought, you know, 15 of my guitars and a whole box full of weird pedals I've collected over the over the last few years. And uh, you know, it's just been an absolute exper sonic experiment for me, and it's it's been a really amazing week. I'm recording Hailstorm number three. I personally, and I think I can speak for all of us, um, we really didn't know what to expect coming into this, this whole recording process. amazing it's really been amazing I mean walking into the place it's I mean we're in a church which is really cool that, that sets a vibe but um, I mean we just set up like we would set up for rehearsal and um, and we just started hashing through songs and that's that's what we've been doing we've been working through songs together and it's uh, been a little bit of both a little bit of kicking ass a little bit of getting my ass kicked in the studio, I'll tell you what, it's, um, this has definitely been the most fun approach to recording that I've ever had, and also the hardest approach to recording I've ever gone through in the studio. First day we set everything up and got the sounds together, second day uh, we cut a song, crazy rock metal song, I don't know if I'm allowed to say titles, <laughs> am I allowed to say titles? This song called Mayhem that we've been doing for, uh, live uh, for a while. It was like one of the one of the only new songs that we started uh, presenting to our live audience just to kind of get the idea of what the reaction was. And it's this crazy fast metal song. Just a lot of crazy like mm, high energy drumming. It's a really fun song to play but we had to play it. I was literally playing drums for like eight hours straight. It was crazy. And uh, like my forearms and wrists were all getting sore. It was like ah, man! 
This is a lot of work. That's, you They're know, playing, it's not rocket science, it's rock and roll. Recording this big cavernous, big church-like room. It is it's a huge. church, it's not church-like. No, oh, it is a church. You hear that? Yeah. Listen to the, the sustain. Heavenly. It's the way, we're kind of going back to the beginning a little bit. You know, we're, um, we're going back to, it's the four of us in a room playing the songs that we've, uh, that we've worked hard to narrow down and to write and, and um, it's just, it's, it's incredible. I'm just, I'm so excited every single day to wake up and get into the studio, which, you know, it's just, that's all you can ask for, really. <laughs> I don't know, Jay, Jay's been great because we, you know, he, he's a guitar player too and he's been doing session work for years around Nashville his whole life so he's got a bunch of cool guitars and gear and he kind of looks at me and like, well, sure that part's cool, you know, and I like somebody breathing down my neck and giving me some pressure, you know, making me want to play better, you know, like on some of the solos, you know, I kind of look at him when I'm done playing like, was that cool or am I just, you know, trying too hard and... He's got a pretty good, cool sensor, you know, vibe sensor, and kind of just be like, well, you know. It's like, okay, okay, let me try again. So it's been, you know, it's just great. Does that work? Well, that's weird. <laughs> well, I mean, nah, I mean, if we do it right, does the idea yeah. work, Lizzie? Lizzie? You know, Jay, our producer, has really been, uh, a f the fifth member of the band. He's, he's a vibe guy, he's giving us input, and, and he's a musician, and he's, he's jamming with us, you know, take after take, he'll come in and, and he'll play with us, and, and um, the recording has been just that, just we have to get a good take of the song, all of us together, one complete thought, and um, it's, it's been such a challenge, just a challenge for all of us, Nobody eats until you do it right. How are you so hungry? I didn't eat much at lunch. Um, everyone's going after the the emotion of it. They're going after the um, the performance of it. And is it magical? You know, and and not to throw that out there like that's some cheesy word, but really that's what we're going for. We're going after that amazing performance where we're all on the same level, and. You know, nobody's trying too hard. Everyone's just kind of riding this wave together, which it's a really cool situation to be in because it keeps you on edge and it keeps you thinking about whatever's happening next because if you screw up, that means the rest of the band has to do the entire thing over again. And we got it. <laughs> it's you know, a, it's, it's awesome. a way it's more great. organic way to record, which is a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is it really captures what we are as a band. It's not manufactured, it's not super edited, super perfect, you know, if, if we mess up, you're gonna hear it. much easier to go into a studio where it's more of an assembly line based um, situation where you go in and you can play everything you want and then they just go in and they auto-tune and they fix everything in Pro Tools. This is much different. My sex, my drug, my lust, my God, it ain't no... Oh, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You want to take it from the top again? Yeah. My life, my love, my sex, my drug, my life! Oh. <laughs> hey, how's it going? We're working hard over here. <laughs> it's been absolutely wonderful. And being in in this place, uh, this studio, I mean, there's, there's 
tons of rooms to go into. Every room has a guitar, um, an amp, a piano, a drum kit, whatever you want. It's a playground here, and we we've just been having a blast. Here we are in a, you know, in a laboratory of a sonic laboratory, and I get to do awesome experiments. Life is good. We came in. We we uh, early this week. We we picked a few songs that we knew we could we could really dig into. They were exciting rock songs. But then looking down the list, there's there's so much more. I mean, there's there's just so much great shit. Where besides the first chords, ah, I don't ah. know where, where it went after that. I just stuck with one note that seemed to work. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah. Uh oh. We <laughs> <laughs> have some party chatter. <laughs> party chatter. Yeah. This song we did today is a pretty cool, vibey, swampy, weird song. It's got a really weird beat in it, and it's just kind of like, it's kind of like, it's like very vibey and trancy. And that was really hard because you're looping yourself, but throwing in these little subtle nuances of changes. We finished up doing this one. I had just the coolest groove throughout. And they were really thinking more outside the box with this record than just the straightforward, you know, there's a lot of different stuff on it. Wait do you hear it, it's awesome. Good way to end the week <laughs> on a really cool groove and go hit the weekend, we'll go party it up and come back. Come back and listen to it. Do it again. <laughs> Buy it. Live it up. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm driving. Okay. Pretty sure that cross. Oh, yeah. It's not symmetrical. Once my shit runs out. Using dinosaur bones. Using dinosaur bones. A little left heavy, isn't it? I don't know. From this angle, it's a little right heavy. <laughs> I, mean, I think I'm like dead center. I think it's the left side's a little longer. The cross. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Jesus had a longer left arm. You didn't know. Yeah, that. you know. Well, it would have been his right arm. You, you little, know what I mean. You see the little <laughs> right now. Do you see Are you little? waiting? Are you ready?